everybody. I'm doing a zodiac energy reading for Virgo for the month of February. So I'm going to go ahead and relax here and tune into the energies. This is going to be a little mini message with wisdom and healing for you. Okay, so let's see what comes up. What is the wisdom and healing I can share with Virgo for February? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to start by describing there are sticks. They actually remind me of toothbrushes. They're kind of in a toothbrush holder that would, um, you could put one, two, three, four, five. So it's in a row. Um, they're also kind of like wooden chopsticks in a way, but they're kind of um, positioned upright and they're kind of, here's a... Here's a hole that has some chopsticks in it. Here's another one that, and they're kind of equidistant and they're put into kind of, there's another one, there's another one. So there's, there's distance, they're upright, they're in place. Okay. This is literally the first image that I'm being shown here. So what does this have to do with Virgo in February? Oh boy. There's some complicated um, aspects to this. Hmm. Right now I'm just going to continue to look at the image until I can really define what that means. Okay, so I want to start by defining it as, let's say you look at something and you see it potentially for what it is, right? I'm trying to explain what is this exactly? Well, it feels like sticks. It feels like toothbrushes. Hmm. It feels like it could be chopsticks or something like that in a row. So I'm defining it as best I can tell you. Um, but this is like saying you could see something for what it is, what it appears to be. But beneath the surface of what you are shown, there is kind of another universe of meaning. Always there. Always there beneath the surface. This could be a good thing. As in, it could surprise you. Let's say you're just simply looking at your toothbrush in a toothbrush holder, and it is exactly where it needs to go. And you just see it for what it is. It is a toothbrush and a toothbrush holder. What else is there supposed to be here, right? Now you were to ask yourself the question, well, what is a deeper meaning that um, is beneath the surface of this toothbrush and toothbrush holder? What else could it represent or symbolize for me in my life? Suddenly the unexpected happens. Let's just say it's just a single toothbrush and a toothbrush holder and for some reason you just start to cry because the toothbrush looks lonely. Because really you feel lonely. You didn't expect that. You didn't expect that at all. That something like an everyday item could, could impact you with something that has deeper meaning beneath the surface. It's almost like that toothbrush now becomes the mirror of yourself. So I experience Virgo is in a pause, is in a deep meditation about deeper meaning, and it is wise. And there's a bit of a hesitation in Virgo wanting to see Virgo's own self, okay? So yeah. to see some aspects of yourself that... Um, might make you feel emotional. Maybe something that you know is kind of the truth. Um, so why do we need to talk about it? Um, sometimes you need to see it. You need to see it for what it is. You need to see it because you're feeling this way every day. It needs to just be acknowledged at an emotional level. Uh, 
This feels like acquiring wisdom about yourself and growing in self-reflection um, in a way that may touch your heart and emotional strings, um, may surprise you, may have a bit of a psychic tone to it. So where you see a toothbrush for what it is, that's the human eyes. Where you see the toothbrush now looks lonely, that's the third eye, okay? That's helping you to see um, into the meaning of this, into the meaning of yourself. It's giving you access to something more than just this tangible reality. reality. All right, this is another challenge here for Virgo. It has to do with self-expression, their throat. Why do I keep seeing toothbrushes? It's either a toothbrush or it's chopsticks. <laughs> chopsticks, at least you get two, right? So maybe they're not as lonely. I don't know. <laughs> but um, toothbrushes. And uh, that's that's the image is defined as a toothbrush. And for some reason, it, it's kind of connecting the third eye, um, the bottom of the toothbrush, and then the actual bristle part um, is tuned into the, the crown chakra. So it's like a third eye crown chakra. Toothbrushes connecting these two chakras. This again is, it's kind of like, um, <laughs> it's kind of like, it's, it's again go, goes back to the energy of, it's okay, like we're growing in wisdom here, we are expanding, but it can be hard to do that. Enlightenment is a difficult path, and sometimes it's a lonely path. And whatever this toothbrush is, it feels, the way that it connects the third eye and the crown, it feels kind of disappointing to me. Like I had hoped for better. So I'm going to ask Virgo, why do I keep seeing toothbrushes? What um, does a toothbrush mean to the Virgo collective? Could mean many things. Sometimes I see the toothbrush looks like a person that's sort of standing. So you just see their shoulders and then the, just down to their feet. Um, and then the head of the toothbrush is like the head of the person. So they show me that sometimes it looks like a person. Um, sometimes it looks like a flower. So there's a stem and then like the bristles are, are somehow representative of the flower head. Um, sometimes the toothbrush reminds us of responsibilities. Um, brushing one's teeth, but I also see a person who has to clean a toilet with a toothbrush, and it's not necessarily the fun thing to do, right? It's gross. <laughs> so responsibility, brushing one's teeth, let's say, with creativity, um, seeing a toothbrush as a flower, for instance. This again is taking something from a tangible reality, something that is um, the physical truth, there's a toothbrush, and going and expanding it through the crown, which is sort of um, channeling in some new higher, um, some ideas, new ideas, new ways of seeing things, third eyes, processing it, um, and translating it, the meaning into the other chakras. So we can start to see things in a new way. So we can start to see ourselves in a new way. So we can start to see a physical toothbrush has, um, alternative meanings. Now we're accessing the wisdom. Again, it feels like, um, it feels like I'm just, um, kind of heavy in my heart about the process 
I feel um, kind of on the sadder side of life. And in a way, I need to, I need to feel a little bit, um, maybe in this flow, almost like the deeper meaning may be triggering some emotional meaning, but it feels like this is kind of the masterpiece um, of Virgo's lifeline, okay? When it comes to growth and development and self-discovery in this life. So it feels like February is a month where we just need to um, experience life in this way um, so we can um, grow and transform and have new perspectives. It's expanding our mind, right? Third eye and crown chakra, expanding our mind through the gift of a toothbrush. <laughs> um, so that in March or whatever month um, as the years go on, um, we are becoming more whole, more accessing of our truth, of our soul, of... Um, of who we are. We, are. we are living life, you know what I mean? Like in a more meaningful, deep way. This was a good message. And after, I, I'm saying that because I feel clean. <laughs> I feel like I, I got cleaned somehow in my crown chakra and my third eye. I feel cleaner. I feel um, like it's okay to see things a little bit differently, even if it makes me emotional. It's actually kind of um, making life more interesting. And if I'm wanting to work on myself, then of course I want to see myself in some new ways so I can be in awe of who I am. And maybe those ways are like, wow, I really am amazing. Or wow, I never, I never saw myself like this before. Maybe I need to work on patience or maybe I need to work on whatever, you know? Um, so it's it's a really good thing. It's a really good thing. And that's why I'm starting to feel so clean after this message. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps that is the final message. That the month of February is to polish um, polish you. You know, poli give you a polish <laughs> um, of self-reflection, self-awareness, um, and growth. All of that stuff. Kind of a connection between the, the the psychic spiritual world and the the reality human world, right? Um, there's kind of a polish between the two. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I have two other YouTube channels, so you can check me out at um, Abby Psychic Services and Abby Normal. And I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash Abby Normals Wisdom Quest. All right. Thank you all again for watching. Have a wonderful February.